Hey there everybody, this is the Gamer Secrets here, we're playing Prison Architect, we're on Chapter 2. The CEO has says, there's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put out and stop any casualties and prevent more damage. Use the emergency service button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Well, let's call emergencies. Well, I'm going to send those guys right there. Send those guys right there. Come on, guys, hurry! Where are those guys? Those guys need to get out! Oh, those guys are dead. Well, that sucked. We'll get a second group in here. This first group can move up that way. There's a lot of damage. I don't think this is recoverable. Oh, I think that's put out. The CEO. My god, there's a survivor in the wreckage. Christ on a crutch, if it's Don Palomar, of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we've had to sack all of our permanent doctors. The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll be able to take care of Don Palomar whilst we sort out this meth mess. I can't speak today, guys. We need to clean up this mess. Use the bulldozer too to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You will need to remove all the debris. Designate a garbage zone adjacent to the road and one of our workmen will dump the wreckage there for the garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, can you send those firemen home now? They've done their job. I've added more details on each of these objects to your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure of what to do, highlight the object and you'll see additional instructions. Okay, and I'll send you guys home. Let's watch them pack up. I suppose I need to hire some doctors. I can hire more workmen. Cool. I wonder. Hey, some of this stuff's still saveable. I'll just pause and I'll click dismantle on anything that looks like it's saveable. It's cheaper to repair than it is to buy new. Just like with anything. Oh my gosh, they had a ton of TVs in the canteen. Wow. It's impressive. I never knew that you would put a TV in the canteen. That's damaged. I think we're just supposed to tear down the whole building, so... Damaged. Not damaged. Save as much money as possible. That's my theory. suppose they want a spot to put the garbage, huh? Rooms, garbage. Uh, 
foundations, bulldozing. Well, let's just go like this. Oh, watch them take out everything. All the prisoners are going to be going nuts. There's no f way for them to eat now. Oh, uh, that's not good. That could cause a lot of problems. No canteen. Oh yeah, look at that danger level, guys. Holy crap. That's not good. This prison seems to be doing fairly well for itself. It's got <laughs> a nice bank account. Look at the prisoners. They got 16 high risk, 55 normal, and some low risk. I'll have to keep that in mind for when we do our own uh, prison where we build it. If we can get one off the ground in the future. In this game. I'm sure we'll hear from the CEO. Yep, there he is. Good work. Let's check up on our casualties. Don Palomar. Ugh. Sonny. I think he's trying to say something. Don, which of you did this? Nico, no one did this to you, Pappy. It was an accident. Shut your stinking mouth and listen good to both of you. If I knew which of you started that fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. But my time is done. I'm going to die in this bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palmer name is all we've got left, so we need to do the honorable thing. You dirty pieces. Capiche? Sonny, we know what to do, Pops. Nico, watch your back. Sonny, this isn't over, Nico. The CEO. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen from which you can control the technical deployment of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to all cell blocks and rooms. Assign 10 guards to stations around the prison. Alright guys, sorry about that. I got interrupted, so where were we? Um, see you. Deploy a spread of guards to all the cell blocks and rooms. Assign 10 guards to stations around the prison. That should be a sufficient show of strength for now. Okay. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facility. Okay. Anytime you're unsure of what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Guard patrols. All right. 
Auto save, you suck. So messed up. Oh well. Done with deployment. Now I need to start building. I think I got deployed, right? No? Oh my gosh. I forgot to go into this area. I think that's all. Could be wrong. There's a lot in there for some reason. Is that ten yet? No. Come on. Let's hit ten already. How many guards do I have? We're at 25 guards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I got more than ten. Am I supposed to link all the houses together? can do that. There, everything's linked. Now what? Uh, I missed something up, but I don't know what. Oh, that's how. I messed it up. Oh, my mistake. See you. We have a lot of work still to do. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. You'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Once you have all that completed, the chefs will automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do at any time, try highlighting the object in the to-do list and you will see some hints. Well, seems like there's a water outage. Start with foundation, brick building. Trying to get pretty close to where it was. I think that was right there. Objects will do a large jail door. Right there. Ok. 
Okay. Look at utilities. Yeah, there's water lines that were lost. And... Uh, yeah. I've just got a feeling that we're going to need that in here. Yeah. What about electrical cable? Uh, yeah, we lost electrical cable. The rest of the prison has power. Oh, I'll just run these out here then. So we're here to start with. Be a good start. I'm going to let that run. Hire at least eight cooks. Okay. Oh, we'll do ten. Alright. We'll let this go for now. Gotta wait for him to build. So we'll wait. I feel like we need some more guards. We'll give them some more guards. Looks like they almost have the canteen room finished. Yep. Almost. Come on guys, hurry up. Well. I'm going to pause it. To cookers, fridges, and sinks. We'll run a line of cookers right there. Wow. Two fridges right there. Two fridges right there. Oh, we need some sinks. Put that right there, and we can do three. I'm sure I need these garbage bins in here. And right now I'm going to need a serving table. Okay. Tables. Punches. Uh -huh. 
that didn't work. Sounds like they're riding. Look at each other. I know the sink's going right there. Yeah, that should do it. All right, I think we got everything laid out now. Let's fast forward it. Oh, and they said we could upgrade the floor, so I think we should do white tile in the kitchen. We can do wood in the canteen again. I wonder if they'll let me upgrade the patio areas out here. That's cool. Uh -huh. I'm wasting their money. I think I've wasted enough of their money. We'll just sit here and wait. Four fridges, four cookers. Hmm, I forgot a bin. I'll give them three. Oh, uh, yeah. Be ready for tomorrow, I think. Yeah, that's it. That's all set up to run. Let's see what Sierra has said. You will not believe what I've just been told. Our guys were dumping some of the old food stuff, and they discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. We suspected the Palomar family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we've never been able to determine how. Some days it doesn't just rain, it pours. Don Victor Palomo, boss of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. The Palomars eluded the FBI for decades. Anthony Palomar, the Don's eldest son and natural heir, ran the day-to-day -day operations. Nico Tamarati wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family business when he was married but married the Don's only daughter, Vitilia. And Sonny, the Don's second son, the runt of the litter, temper like a pit bull, and only half as smart. Their empire ran a narcotics trade from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in flagrant delicato. Shot dead by a jealous husband, unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sport bag. And the evidence led straight to the top. Overnight, everything the Palomar family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her, other than she was always kept outside the family business. 
But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. We could have quite a serious narcotic problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was deliberate and we don't want that a repeat of that. Install sprinkler systems over in the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains. Alright, so I guess it's time to install sprinklers. But first, another message. All the prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now everyone is starving, hungry, and that's what all the shouts have been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs. And you ignore it in your peril at your peril. A prison is just a, a few failed meals away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. You can monitor the needs of the prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom right. This report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. As you'd expect, food is red for virtually everyone. But these prisoners are also very bored. Recreational need, and the prison is in a pretty shabby shape, which is reflected by their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision as the resident prisoner architect which needs you will try and attend to first. You could install televisions in their cells to keep them occupied and hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you could just ignore your prisoner's needs altogether and just rely on force to keep the prisoner in control. I'll leave it up to you. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Come back for the next episode where we will start tackling this list. Enjoy the rest of your day.